Alright, this is uh, Keith Sandy Wall here, and uh, this is kind of like a new series about theology I'm starting, and during like the next few weeks, we're going to be going over the doctrines of grace. Now, this is obviously a Calvinist thing, but I truly do believe that all the five doctrines of grace are fully supported by the Bible, and I'm just going to go over all of them and show how the Bible supports them. And if you want to watch, you can. If you want to stop watching, that's fine too. So uh, today the point we're going to be going over is the first point of the doctrines of grace, and it's uh, total depravity, the sinful condition of man wherein we are not able to do any spiritual good before God that could please him. Now, this doesn't take away from the fact that unbelievers are still able to do moral good. They're still be able to help people. They're still able to do good works. But this is only because God has given even unbelievers common grace. He still shows his love to them through his creation. So the first verse we're going to be going over is uh, Romans uh, eight, chapter 8, verse 8. Okay, so Romans chapter 8, verse 8 says, So then, those who are in the flesh cannot please God. And, yeah, I think that's pretty simple. Those who are in the flesh cannot please God. In our s state of being dead, completely dead in our sin, we are totally unable to please God unless he first puts his calling in our heart. That's the only reason we're ever able to reach out to him. Uh, John chapter 6 verse 44 says, no one can come to the Father unless the Father draws him. It's interesting to note that actually the Greek root word in for draw in John chapter 6 verse 44 is not draw. That's how it's been uh, translated in the English translations, but the original word is actually drag. Next verse we're going to do is uh, Romans 7.18. Romans is just like a really good book to go to for our theology. Okay, Romans chapter 7, 18. For I know that in me, that is, in my flesh, nothing good dwells. For to will is present with me, but how to perform what is good, I do not find. For the good that I will to do, I do not do, but the evil I will not to do, that I practice. Not if I do what I will not to do, it is no longer I who do it, but sin that dwells in me. Now, Paul, it's, that's kind of a hard verse to follow for a lot of us, but what Paul's basically doing is, it, what's, what he is saying is that when he, wants, when he wants to do good, he just finds himself doing, uh, sinning again. And this verse is saying that in my flesh, nothing good dwells. The only reason we can do anything good or do any good work, even for unbelievers, is because of God. It's not just because he created them and they're using their free will to somehow do some good works. The only reason anybody can ever do good works is because of God's grace. Next verse we're going to do is Jeremiah 17. 9. Jeremiah 17, 9, probably most of you know this verse, but if you don't, it's, the heart is deceitful above all things, and desperately wicked. Who can know it? And the only way we can ever find God is if he finds us first. And there, there's just a bunch of more verses about this in the Bible, and I just encourage you to uh, just do a study on this, maybe. But the Bible is so clear about this. And whenever somebody says, like, 
like God doesn't want to take away from our free will or he doesn't want to limit our free will I'm just like what like this is the God of the universe we're talking about and you're talking about him taking away our free will I think we should be a lot more concerned about downplaying God's sovereignty or his authority over every aspect of our life I think that's the thing we should be worried about this is this is just like kind of like a little rule I like to keep in my mind it makes it easy to remember this there's both there's man's free will and there's God's sovereignty but free will will never go beyond the limit he and his sovereignty has put down and we'll go over that a little more I just kind of wanted to do this video and I hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel for more videos like this